Right, what I'm going to talk about today is strategies for instant income. Is anyone interested in these? Yeah. <laughs> oh, just a few. Fast. Okay, I might, might have the wrong room. Um, right, I, I think that um, it's always our common problem um, is that we don't have enough cash in our business. So what if we could generate some cash um, easy way and not really um, having to do it ourselves? Because a lot of us are actually working in the business rather than on the business. So I'm going to just talk a little bit about strategies. I'm so surprised that you're listening today. <laughs> no, it's really a team. Team. very <laughs> So, um, we need to make sure that um, not only the owner of the business is focused on cash generation, but also employees, if you've got a team behind you, you've got to also make sure that they are generating or thinking about generating income. Because generating income can also be lowering the expenses. If you have an, someone who just prints off anything, it's going to cost the business quite a lot of money. So, and we can also ask the suppliers to do this by giving us discounts. So always ask for a discount. If you don't ask, you don't get, right? What is the most valuable asset in a business? Can anyone say that? People. You, you, okay. Yeah. yeah. HR, yes. Did, did you have an idea? People. People, yeah. Well, the most important in any asset, in any business, is the list of customers, that's the most important. And with that list of customers, you really want to generate as many leads as you can. Um, that seems sort of rather more uh, easier to say than, than done, but um, we always have to ask for referrals. Um, who do you know who is the famous phrase. Um, and you can ask that to suppliers as well. Uh, do you know anyone who is interested in um, me letting their houses, for instance, for Maxine? Or um, do you know anyone who needs a testament or, or a, a will drawn up? Um, so all these people uh, need to be aware, and the employees as well, provide them with brochures, with leaflets, so that they can give out to anyone that they know might need. And then this person can then contact you directly. Now, um, the most overlooked assets in any business is, I think, uh, okay, you, you can have old stock, um, uh, sort of you can relaunch something that you've launched before. But one of these things is that your employees or yourself, you have a certain amount of knowledge that you could perhaps package and sell online. Why not write a book, write articles about what you do? and sell them. It doesn't need to be a lot, but it can be two pounds, three pounds or more. So um, think about this knowledge of templates perhaps. I've got someone working for me as an assistant and she is absolutely amazing on spreadsheets. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is ask her to write a process for um, writing a nice template for your uh, spreadsheet. Um, and, of course, my business is property investment, so perhaps I could ask her to have a template for property investors, landlords, or the letting sites. And I mean, I'm sure that you are, um, have spreadsheets all over. And, well, it's all these little things that people don't want to learn by themselves, um, and it takes time. So that perhaps could be packaged. Um, Another thing that I was thinking about is that you can join venture with other people. So they have a list, you have a list. Perhaps your specialties are um, complementary, in which case you can sort of phone them up and sort of say, well, if you send something to your list, how about adding me, um, saying that you endorse me, um, that I've got very good products that could be complementary to whatever <coughs> your clients are um, are consuming, if you like. One thing that nobody ever thinks about, why not contact your competitors? Uh, you're going to think, oh, competitors? Why? But perhaps the clients that are with them aren't buying with them or have bought everything that they can sell. And that list of people 
they have generated and could generate them some more income because you can give them half the proceeds or whatever percentage you decide. So, and also other companies which have a, a psychographic, um, similar psychographic, um, uh, I can't quite find the term now, but people that have the same psychographic, whatever, uh, definition. Um, profile? Exactly, profile. Um, perhaps someone who is in the beauty business uh, or, or a business coach with Susie, for instance, that goes well together. And you could do the business coach sending a newsletter to her client or his client and sort of saying, listen, by the way, all, all the ladies, I've got this fantastic image consultant or no, no, that wasn't the right, correct thing. Anyway, <laughs> or, or different uh, companies that are really synergetic um, in the same type of clients that they have. Um, you can also, um, <coughs> market research is a good one. Why not send an email to all your list and ask them what actually do you need? What isn't provided by the market yet? So that could be perhaps that you're going to come up with something that you didn't think of at all, but you could package a product around that. So I think we need to look at internet much more. It's going to be an easy way. You don't have to be there. Um, products are sold um, because you're generating traffic, and products are sold at night uh, whilst you're sleeping and you're doing something else. It allows you to work on the business rather than in the business. Right, and that's it for me. I hope you will, um, if you have any questions, come later on.